let me tell you a story of director of marketing of one company. This director of marketing is a wonderful person. He became director of marketing at the age of 40 years. And normally in that company, nobody becomes director or nobody goes to the top level at such an young age. This person is a subject matter specialist, expert in marketing strategies. You name it, I think he knew. He is very meticulous in his approach. He is very hardworking, very sincere, had an MBA education and was doing everything wonderfully well. But this particular person is not liked by anyone. Anyone you posted in his department, they prefer not to work with him because he is so good, so hard working and expected everyone to work so hard. They felt that they are unable to cope up with his expectations. The HR manager always used to have a problem. Whenever they, he posted somebody in his department, people would soon come back and say, while it's a great department, we somehow don't enjoy working with him. And people felt it very hard to tell him that uh, he needs to improve his interpersonal competence. Because after all, he made a mark, he got the money for the company, he has been successful, he is working hard, he is considered lawyer, he didn't change his job, so many good things about him. This bad thing people thought probably organization has tolerated. However, the HRD manager felt if this person can improve his interpersonal competence also, what a wonderful director marketing we would have. Well, he went and one day talked to him, of course HR people can't go and tell you that you lack this, you lack that and so on. And I'm sure any one of you, if a HR guy comes and says that, will throw out the person out of your room. Uh, so the HR chief went and told him, sir, you're doing a wonderful job. Everyone thinks so good of you. Why don't you go through this new technology and also understand something about your own leadership competencies? Go to this 360 degree program in which your subordinates will assess you, your colleagues will assess you, your seniors will assess you and can point out what is good about you and also point out what are some of the areas where you need to improve. Apparently, this director marketing told this HR person that uh, Mr. Kumar, I am just using a fictitious name, don't look for Kumar who are HR managers and try to identify the organization. Uh, he said, Mr. Kumar, you have posted in the last two years about 15 people to my department and none of them stuck here. They don't have half the commitment I have, they don't work as half hard as I work and they don't have a sense of dealing with figures. They can't even do simple calculations. Don't you think you should send them for 360 degree program rather than asking me to go for this program? It is they who need to discover what their weaknesses are rather than me going for this program. So our friend Kumar didn't know what to do with it. So he went back, talked to a few people. He said that, look, I think he has a point, but what to do? It's very difficult to tell him that his interpersonal competence is low. Nobody dares to tell him because they are afraid if they tell him this, they might lose him. So do we continue with it? And somebody gave him this wonderful idea. Why don't you go and tell him that you work so hard, you deserve a holiday. Take a holiday, but take it in a meaningful way. A person like you, wouldn't like you take a, take a holiday for the sake of holiday. You want to do business around this holiday. So this 360 degree feedback is an opportunity where you can do a little bit of business, work for the company, work for yourself and at the same time have a holiday. This time our director of marketing got convinced. He said, okay, all right, you came to me so many times and you insist that I should go through this. Maybe I guess I need also some rest. Go ahead, what do you want me to do? Promptly, Mr. Kumar handed over some 15, 20 questionnaires to him, sat with him, asked him to write down all the people whom he has supervised in the last two years and who worked with him at least for about three months, asked him to write down his internal customers, names of internal customers and also seniors and sign a letter requesting them to anonymously assess how well he is performing various roles and what are the competencies that he is showing and what are the competencies he lacks. This is a questionnaire that was handed over. So this gentleman signed a letter and sent the letter along with the questionnaire to his subordinates, to his colleagues and to his seniors. And two months later, he attended the 360 degree feedback program. 
where the feedback from all his subordinates was compiled and he was presented in the program what they thought of him, strengths, weaknesses, roles well performed, roles not so well performed, expectations that the subordinates have which he needs to fulfill. Same thing with internal customers and same thing with some of the seniors who happened to observe him and work with him. And when he got the feedback, he was in the beginning happy to see that people had many good things to say about him. But when his eyes went to two persons, where one of the persons asked him, do you like working with him? 80% of them said no. And that shook him. How satisfied are you working with him? And the next question was, how much do you learn while working with him? And people said, very little. And I prefer a change from him. So this shook him and he felt quite disturbed. He in fact said in the program, I worked so hard, I made so much of money for the company, got fast promotions, everyone says I am great, I am a strategic thinker, I am technically competent, I am meticulous, I am hard working, but still this is what people say about me. I told Kumar, I am not the one to come for this course. He should have sent those people who have rated me like this. So he was not reconciled. Like any one of us, he felt defensive about the negative feedback. It's a very understandable kind of thing. But this had an impact on him. He went reflecting about it. He looked at the feedback that other people got in the program. And at the end of the day, and I happened to be facilitator of this program, he asked me, Professor Rao, I'm amazed. Some of my colleagues have been able to manage to get some good ratings. People seem to work like working with them. I started asking myself this question, what is wrong with me? Why is it that people are not saying that they learned something by working with me? And why is it people say that they prefer to move away from me? They don't want to work with me and so on. I started asking myself this question. In the beginning, I thought that uh, they are wrong, but I am probably beginning to think that if I improve on this particular kind of a quality, what a better leader I can become. I am asking myself, isn't it important to have people enjoy working with you? Uh, he left that particular program with this question. Frankly, I was not very optimistic that this person would change. I thought success has got into his head and he is not likely to change. But six months later, when I visited this company, I was told that he is a changing person. Many of his subordinates came and told me, that uh, but they had no, there were no need to come and tell me because I was just a visitor to this company. But they took pains and they came and told me, Professor Rao, we don't know what wonderful thing you have done. This is a change in person now. Now it is beginning to become a pleasure to work with him. Earlier, he used it to lose his temper, criticize us, reprimand us, use it to find faults with us. Now that is substantially reduced. He does some of it, but he does it with a smile. And he treats us a little more informally and we don't find him as much tensed. So we are sure that this has changed the climate in his department and we have begun to feel that his interpersonal competence is improving. And three years later, this director of marketing is a totally changed person. He has created such a wonderful climate in his company that everyone thinks that he should be the next CEO. But I won't tell you whether he became the CEO or not. I would like to stop the story here. Moral of the story, the higher you go, the lonelier it gets. People dare not tell you what you are weak at, but they tell you a lot of things what you are good at. And some of the things that they tell you, you may think are the only things that constitute your leadership, but behind you, they may be saying some things which don't always talk of your strengths, but which probably talk of your weaknesses. Or 360 degree feedback, therefore, is a tool which people can anonymously, rather than doing backbiting, rather than commenting on your strengths and weaknesses behind you, can express themselves on a piece of paper, on a tool, a well-constructed tool, and help you to discover what are your strengths as a leader and what are your weaknesses as a leader.